Hello, Capricorns. Oh, uh, oh God, that was horrible. I won't do that again. Okay. Anyway, it's time for your December reading for 2018, which is this current year. The next reading I'll do for you guys, if you are don't do the Thunderdome, will be a 2019 12-month spread, right? And I'll be using, like, my crow deck in that, I believe. I gotta read that freaking book so I can never remember. But I should know by now. <coughs> Been years since I messed with it, though. Okay, so, like... It is time... You know what's really annoying? Nobody knows when Capricorn season actually is. <laughs> I've listened to so many videos where they say, Happy birthday, Capricorns, and it's just like, it's Sagittarius season. Do you guys not know when our frickin' birthday is? <laughs> we, are, we are the shortest. And people seem to just totally forget that, like, Sagittarius has a birthday. <laughs> That's how much they're around. Because they're out adventuring and shit. But no, like, we're around, we're in our room, and nobody even acknowledges that we're there anymore. And it's just like, okay, whatever. And it just means I don't have to pay for your meal when I go out for my birthday. <laughs> Anyway, no anyways, let's get started for the reading. Caps. Oh, I'll be doing a, um, I don't know if I already said this, but I'll be doing a 2019 reading. So be prepared for that. Because I honestly don't remember because I've said it so many freaking times in all the videos. It's hard to keep memorization about that shit. God, not a freaking pentacle in sight. It's all wonky. Well, fortune reversed. Something's getting stalled. Cats. Hmm. What about excommunication? Or maybe even a Taurus? Huh. Or maybe something needs to be learned. Someone's just mouthing off at the sun. Like, it's Leo double right here. Like, someone's ready to run in and just scream at, like, <laughs> like this. Oh my goodness, like, everything's just stalled out. What the hell, Caps? I almost want to reshuffle that. Because <laughs> it's like, oh, look at that. There's the Hierophant reversed again. Huh. Someone definitely needs to learn something, but it's being hidden from them. Possibly about this strength or this Leo. Hmm. Okay, so the Hierophant, right? There are a lot of things that um, come with the Hierophant, right? There is order. There is law. There is tradition. There's a whole bunch of shit, right? Usually his hands being up or his two fingers being up represents things that are still unknown to you. There's also excommunication here. There is... Uh, some keys and elements at play. Someone might have the higher thing. Uh, when he's reversed, he can often mean excommunication. And in some regards, mean that like someone needs to learn a lesson. Here is a queen of swords reversed. Indecisiveness, hypercritical behavior, cutting people out unnecessarily. So either you need to learn how to cut people out the right way or don't do it at all. <laughs> Now, I feel like someone was excommunicated. Ooh, cards. And with this strength card, there was a lack of balance. Possibly dealing with the Libra. These boys go up here together. One, two, three, four, five. Some quick cards there, caps. Over here, this chariot person, what you're wanting with them. If it's a cancer, they're kind of nuts. Um, if it's somebody displaying that, uh, like maybe somebody's keeping themselves in their shell until they are offered something. Like they're protecting their own emotional feelings until they are offered something. Ace of Pentacles. With this unhappiness, this sun reversed. Huh. Um, 
Okay, hold on a second. Let me look over at this first row, right? Because, like... I feel like someone needed to learn a lesson about something hidden. The Hierophant reversed? Like, I'm looking at his closet, it's like something was hidden. And it was something that had to be learned about the Queen of Swords. And it might have something to do with a Leo and some unbalanced, something being unbalanced. And it could be a Libra, dealing with both these scenarios. And it's like, hmm. Like, the, like, that kind of cheers me timbers a little bit, that's all. Now, yeah, anyway, back to this card reading with the sun. Huh. What is going on with this, this unhappiness? Someone's letting their insecurities really get to them, and that's what's going against them. Capricorns. Somebody... Is being super insecure about what makes them unhappy. Someone is totally like clinging on to what's made them unhappy. Someone ain't letting that shit go. And like that's got earth energy right there. So you know. But you're looking for some sort of offer too. With somebody who's completely unbalanced. So you might be dealing with somebody who um went out of their way. <laughs> to do the uh, wrong thing, maybe. Um, you're afraid that like this person right here, this Queen of Cups reverse, who's hiding their true feelings and intentions to get something out of it. Broken heart with her? Or did you break her heart? Or did she break yours? Because it's obvious she doesn't care. She's just pretending to care. And I think it might be about a broken heart. Or maybe you realize that, like, she won't care and she'll break your heart again. And this Knight of Swords and the Catalyst and the final result is clarified by the Knight of Swords. Both y'all riding in the same freaking direction. Someone's got a lot to say about what has kept them insecure and unhappy. About an unbalanced situation. Possibly even dealing with a Leo. Like, someone's really mad, and they have something to fucking say. It could also be a Libra who's coming in like that, too. Or maybe you're both just coming in at each other at the same time, and you don't even realize it. But someone's coming in to definitely, like, run their mouth. Like the little bitch they are. <laughs> just like, you know, don't come to me unless I send for you. What do you think you're doing, you know? That could be the reaction back, you know, like, or we need to have a talk. If someone says we need to have the talk, you tell them, yeah, we absolutely fucking do. And then just have them, you, both of y'all, like, you know, freaking out. That way it's fair. Mmm. <laughs> King of Cups Reverse, someone who is definitely, uh, Cancer Pisces Scorpio, by the way, someone who is definitely, um, they, they don't, like, they're, they're too worried about themselves to give a shit about anybody else, I feel like. Like, he's closed off emotionally, he's being emotionally stubborn on purpose. Um, he is... Kind of like in my Toth deck with the King of Cups, he is too involved in his own emotions to see what he does to people around him. And this person has caused fate to stall, if that makes sense. Like, this person's unemotional availability, by choice. You know, like, you know, this person knows how to turn their emotions on and off. Or at least they show the idea that they do. This person... Is causing this to halt or and I don't know if it's your fate or theirs like that's the thing but there's somebody here who's like 
Yeah. And like that's what one, two, three of the water, so it all could be the same person right there. The chariot, queen of cups, king of cups, someone who's being emotionally unavailable. Someone who's lying about their true feelings in order to like hurt somebody, I think, is the fear. Or maybe they're afraid of getting their heart broken and that's why they're faking their feelings. Like, I don't know. Let's see what the last three advice cards be. Tee hee hee. Oh, there's the first one. Um, someone's definitely not having a victory in this. Like, whatever this is, and I don't even know if it's connected to the rest of this, honestly. It seems like it's its own separate issue. But whatever this is with this excommunication and this unbalanced situation, someone wasn't a victor in it. Someone actually had an enemy in their house. Something didn't go the way it's planned, and now people are whacking them with sticks. Like, whack, 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 whack. You know, like, they just keep getting whacked no matter what. Like, things are going against them. And it didn't turn out the way they planned it to, I guess. Like, backfire, I think. I, I, don't, I don't know why I'm thinking backfire. <laughs> like, like, whatever victory they were trying to go for just didn't work out for them. And it's like, they're a loser now? Because it became unbalanced and, like, it, 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 and they need to learn something, but it's still hidden from them. Uh, someone needs to come out of a burden with his chariot giving an offer or being re given an offer and the so someone not being happy about what they're insecure about or maybe their insecurities is causing them to be unhappy Ooh, I'll take you oh two cards and you are afraid of some disappointment from somebody who's acting very immature Page of Pentacles. Could be another Earth sign. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Um, but you're really afraid of being disappointed by this person when it comes to a truth moment. Or somebody not coming out with the truth. Or maybe a, a, the wrong mindset perspective. Like, maybe you're afraid someone's going to come at you with the wrong thing in mind. Like, you can't get on the same wavelength as them, so it comes out like the Ace of Swords reverse, just wonky. And there are two Aces here, so one of them's not real. Like, I know a lot of people like to say that, like, Aces are gifts, and that's true, but, like, one of them's reversed, and it's like, which one's the real one in this potential, you know? Because one of them's not real. And that's kind of, like, what's getting to me a little bit, because it's like, one's reversed and one's upright. Which one is the real one? Either an offer shouldn't happen... Or this perspective, which is being perceived as wrong, is actually right. It's one of the two. And I don't know if this cherry is giving an offer. Or re being the one that's receiving the offer. Because they're going and giving the offer to this Queen of Cups reverse who isn't being honest about their feelings. About something to do with a broken heart. Either she's delivering a broken heart or she's the broken hearted person. Hmm. Interesting read, Capricorns. But I will see you guys later and hopefully you guys have a good Christmas and New Year's. Bye-bye.